Yeah, so this is what's known as a radio sonde. This is actually the instrument package that is going to take all the data for us. So this is how it comes to us from the manufacturer. It's all packaged up. So basically, I've got to open everything up and, and take it out. And they're, very, uh, they're very good at what they do. They give us a lot of information, which is great. Um, there's not actually that many sensors on the instrument either. It doesn't need a whole lot, which is actually pretty cool about it. And the neat thing about it is right here on the top, it says remove bag for mailing instructions. This can actually be recovered and sent back and reconditioned and reused again, which is actually super duper cool. Um, so there's the two instruments that you actually see on here are this one and then this one. Basically, this is what we utilize for like our dew point, and this is going to be our temperature sensors. And of course, they're packaged up really nicely just to make sure that uh, we don't hurt them or mess anything up on them because they're sensitive instruments. And actually, when we go out to launch the balloon, we, we don't set this on the ground because it can mess up the, the instruments as well. So we, we weave it on a bucket. And when you saw when I did the launch, it was sitting on a bucket because we don't want it to touch the ground. So um, in particular, this, this instrument's really sensitive. Um, but it's really cool because that gives you your temperature and your, your, uh, your dew point, your humidity information. And that calculates a lot of the information. In terms of the winds, it actually utilizes a GPS uh, so we have a, a big uh, antenna outside and a dome on top of the shelter that, that I launch it out of, and that tracks the radio sound through the entire flight. And it can just, it, doing some math calculations from where the, it is with relation to the distance from, from the site, it can calculate the wind speed, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, that's really the basic information that it's, that it's giving us back. We get a little bit more info from it as well. But so that's, is there like a little computer or something on the inside? Like how does that all get back to us? Yeah, there's, so it's got a, a battery pack and then a chip inside. Um, you can kind of see some of the wires for it. The actual chip in, itself is inside the radio sound. I can't get to that, but um, it, it sends back a radio frequency. So um, we can change it if we needed to. Sometimes you have to, if you've had an unsuccessful flight, you need to launch another one, you have to switch the frequency for it. Um, so that information is all included there. And I was talking about the mailing instructions, so I also am going to write on it and just kind of note where it was launched from and when and the time. Um, and then that'll get sent out to the world. I'm going to have to pick it up a little bit so I don't hurt the instruments on it. So um, just putting our station. So we're in Ruskin, so writing that on there. The date. Now, we do all of these in uh, universal coordinated time. So I'm actually going to write tomorrow's date on this one because it's tonight's launch. So it's 9-3-19, and this will be the 0-Z launch um, tonight. So uh, we put that on there because they're launched at the same time around the world. There's sites all across the globe that launch, and they do it at the same time. So 0 and 12 UTC, Universal Coordinated Time, or Zulu time. It also is known as Greenwich Mean Time. They all mean the same thing. Um, they're launched at the same times every day. So for us, on a normal day, that means we launch at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. We go back to standard time. It would be uh, it would be 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. And then right now we're doing special launches, so we're doing those in addition at 6 z and 18 z because we use a 24-hour time clock for it. 